If that package under your tree was a playful pup, experts say there are measures you should take to ensure they live a long, happy life. And today's Ronnie Lewis is here with more in this week's Pet Talk. Hey, thanks so much, Sarah. And this week, we continue our discussions with Dr. Brandon Bebout about what you need to know about bringing home a puppy. Now, after talking about the need to know about bringing them home, we're taking a deeper dive into what you are going to need the next few months down the road. Dr. Brandon Bebout says this is a hot topic in the veterinary and medical community. When to spay our puppy? He says there isn't a one-size-fits-all answer, and that's where your vet comes in. So for the most part, um, most female dogs under 50 pounds are going to be done between six and eight months. Um, if they're under 10 pounds, they're going to be done at l right at six months. Um, the, young, the smaller the dog, the earlier they are to go in their heat cycle. So a Yorkie and a Pomeranian and a Chihuahua um, are going to go into heat right around six months, whereas an Irish Wolfhound um, or a Rottweiler could be somewhere in anywhere between you know, 11 and 13, 14 months. And so we have a little bit more time on those type of dogs. He says the health benefits outweigh the potential risks that come with choosing not to spay your puppy before adulthood. So puppies, um, dogs specifically, uh, that have not gone through a heat cycle uh, have a 0.5% chance of, of mammary carcinoma or breast cancer. Once they go through a first heat cycle, that has gone from 0.5% to 8%, 16 times more likely. So they're a 1 in 12 chance. If they go through two heat cycles, so a Yorkie would be a one-year-old, they've gone through two heat cycles, they have a 24% chance of breast cancer. So that is one of the reasons um, that we are a big proponent. Um, obviously, again, reducing the chance of breast cancer, specifically in females. Um, another really good reason to spay is uh, something called pyometra. Pyo means pus, mitra means uterus. And so uh, very, very serious um, infection in the uterus. And uh, they are very ill, lethargic, vomiting, decreased appetite, uh, and it's an emergency spay. And so the reason we want to spay before that is because it just makes the spay about five times more expensive. There are a few reasons to neuter your dog, but Dr. Bebout isn't as concerned with these good boys because... There's not a link a linkage between any sort of cancers and, and, and letting um, dogs stay intact. But that doesn't mean there aren't risks. One of the things that we see is, is you know, it's, it's another organ to get um, cancer on, and so that's why we're a proponent for neuter. And then there's one more that, that's an uncommon um, manifestation from being intact, but um, there's something called the perineal hernia, and 99.7 of perineal hernias happen in male intact dogs. When it comes to preventing possible puppy problems with various parasites, it's important to get treatments year-round for your dog's overall health. So uh, when, we, when we move on to the part of the exam, when we talk about preventatives, we talk about heartworm preventative, flea and tick preventative, um, as well as deworming. And so um, endoparasites as well as ectoparasites. And so um, we deworm these guys pretty frequently, monthly or so, for the first couple of months. While around children and other pets, Dr. Bebout says your pup's parasites could spread to both, and if left untreated, more problems may arise. The, the problem with fleas is, is you know, they're not, they're not going to cause a medical uh, disease, but if they're on your pet, they will fall off into the environment, the eggs will fall off into the environment, and uh, you have to treat all the pets in the house, um, and it comes with bombs and foggers and things like that, and, and you'll really be wishing if you're letting bombs go in your house um, with fumigation that I should have just given them the, the prevention. As a viewer asks, can kids get fleas from my dog? Dr. Brendan Bebout says... Fleas are pretty species specific, same, same with lice. Um, we see a lot of, uh, my, do my kid has lice, um, and so our dog probably does too. That's actually a, a pretty common misconception. They're pretty species specific. But the hookworms can cause what we call cutaneous larval migraines. Um, and they will actually penetrate the skin of young kids out in the sandbox, um, playing where the dog gets pooped. Um, it has roundworms or hookworms. Um, and so they can get into trouble that way. And then, um, and even worse, manifestation um, from roundworms is called visceral larval migraines and so these larvae will penetrate the viscera so the abdominal contents um, of, of little kids. This week's pet doc with Dr. Brandon Bebout from the Hilltop Pet Clinic was the conclusion of what to know when bringing home a new puppy for the holiday season. Next week we'll be discussing a lot of the same topics but with your Christmas kitten. Sarah.
Thanks so much, Ronnie. You can find more information from our Pet Doctor segments by visiting our website, Nebraska.tv, under Good Morning Nebraska in the Features tab. We also have these segments on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash NTV News.